Now, if you don't have this set up, what that means is your emails are more likely to be marked as spam by your suppliers, customers, or anyone else that you're doing business with. The main reason you want to make sure you get your DNS right is you don't want to have your emails going to spam and you don't want to have people trying to email you and it not coming through to you correctly. Now, most people get the basics right, which is setting up your MX records, right? Everyone set that up the first time they set up their workspace account where you've got to put in all of the different mail records to make sure it goes to the right place. But what most people miss is something called SPF. And there's a few others that get very technical. I'm not going to go too deep dive there. Now, Google's tool for this is broken for some reason. So we're going to use a third party tool. It's free, MX toolbox.com. So if you go there and I'll show you what it looks like to do that on my end here, you can always just do this later if you want as well. You just punch in your domain name. So I'm going to put in itgenius.com. It does a standard and ideally you want all green ticks here, right? And you know, ideally it says your service provider is Google apps, you know, rather than something else. That means that your emails are working. If, if you don't have that, then you've got problems, but here's what we want to do. We want to hit the drop down and we want to go to SPF record lookup. That's what we're looking for, SPF. And then we're going to run a search on SPF. Number one, it's important that this is green, but you want to make sure that you've got Google in the list here. Many people don't know to set that up. So SPF is kind of like, you know, in the old days when people would send a letter and they would have like a wax seal on the letter and the wax seal basically in signified this has come from a particular person because their insignia would be on the on the wax seal but it would also make sure that it hadn't been like opened by anyone think about spf a little bit like that it's basically saying we are going to allow emails from google when i send them so when somebody else receives your email their mail service is going to check now if you don't have this set up what that means is your emails are more likely to be marked as spam by your suppliers, customers, or anyone else that you're doing business with. Not a good thing. And most people miss this if you've set up Workspace yourself. So if this is broken or if it's not working, there's actually a guide to doing this as well. Fair warning, this guide is pretty techo. So I wouldn't recommend you, you have a crack at this yourself unless you're pretty confident with tech. I also have a tutorial here on configuring two-factor authentication in the admin panel. So they're both specific guides on getting these things fixed and correct. And this DNS guide, it's about 30 minutes long, I think. What that does is it also covers how do you get Get the other protocol set up, DKIM and DMARC, the two other protocols, but also covers how do you get those configured, how to test it all from start to finish to make sure it's all working properly. So if you want to check that out, there's a great guide there to make sure that that is all on track. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.